You remember this brand called Noveto who made this beam forming speaker that can play audio only around your ears using sound beaming technology so that the rest of the people don't hear anything. So it's a speaker that behaves like a headphone without you having to wear it. I've already made a video you can take a look but I don't really think there's a point anymore because they've issued this statement saying that well they have money issues now and the product is on hold because they are looking for buyers for the company. I mean their product was really promising, it was like the first of its kind in its form factor and they had a very successful CES unveiling. So what happened in less than 6 months after that? Let's take a look. So back in March they had actually released an update that says we wish to apologize for the silence and the lack of information where they un unveiled a few problems they were having, namely the shortage of the camera system they were using. I mean that was the whole point of their uh, you know beamforming thing because beamforming speakers are not anything new. Home theaters have had it for many years but the difference with this product, the Noveto N1, is that it can track your face and move those beam formed you know, audio spheres anywhere around, like it can even track your head. But it seems like they ran out of the number of units. The manufacturer that they were using said that that camera has been discontinued. But instead of reaching for another manufacturer, they decided to design one on their own. They say it was a good choice back then, but uh, obviously they have run into a lot of roadblocks. They say they are not happy with the performance that they are getting and they pushed it back by another 6 months back in March. And apparently they had some issues with the firmware having bugs and not being stable enough. I mean, I wasn't really alarmed when I saw this back then and I didn't make a video because it's common for new crowdfunded ca campaigns, you know, products which are never really made by a big company. It's common for those things to have such production issues. So I wasn't really like worried about that. But they did make another announcement back in June 20th, which I did not see, which says, you know, we regret to inform that Noveto has encountered a financial distress. So they say one of their trustees is working to find a buyer so that they can resume their operations, meaning that they, they are looking for someone to purchase the company and run it with the new management. So that's where they went wrong. Their new 3D camera system, they decided to develop on their own. And I think that's where they spent like pretty much all of their crowdfunded budget. Naturally, people are upset. I mean, if you look at the comments, they are largely just asking for the money back. You, you owe us a refund. And that's true, really. I mean, it's not the people's fault that the company decided to make a bad choice and lost money. Whatever money they had pledged had to be refunded because they are essentially giving money for a product which hasn't been developed yet. That's what crowdfunding is, right? Of course, all of these people are well aware that there is a little bit of risk involved like this, that the product may not even be made, but it's it's understandable that they are all upset. But yeah, just an update I wanted to share, you know. That's kind of a shame. It was a really nice product. It had a lot of positive reviews and impressions back in CES. If you see the video, you will see for yourself. But I guess they became a bit too ambitious with their own abilities. They overestimated their own, you know, manufacturing skill to make their own 3D cameras. They should have just stuck with the existing technologies for now. And once they raise a little bit of money, they could have launched like the Noveto N2 with their own systems. I mean, even big companies like Apple fail at new technologies. Like their air power was a grand flop, right? They tried to do something completely different. And there were hidden challenges that they did not think about and yeah, it flopped. That's exactly what this is. There is no other product that I'm aware of that does what the Noveto N1 can do. So obviously when you're trying to mass produce it, there will be hidden issues. And uh, yeah, sometimes you'll have to accept the reality and pull back. As a nerd, of course, I'm disappointed that a cool piece of tech will not be coming to the market on time. But from a business point of view, I understand, you know, it is what it is. You can't mess around with the lack of money. Their website is down as well. If you go to noveto.com, you don't see anything there. So that's not a good sign. If they can find a buyer, they may resume operations. And I really hope they do. I, mean, I really hope they can raise some money from another buyer or an investor because they do have potential. Anyways, all we can do is just wait and see what happens.